Judge Janine reveals who she thinks is running the White House. AOC, probably. What do you what do you think? The the squad, uh, more than likely, or China, 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 and the squad. Just ice with Judge Janine. By the way, uh, the last person that Trump pardoned before he left office uh, on the 20th of January before noon was uh, Judge Janine's ex. Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Let's get right to my open. Um, that wasn't the open. I'm so confused. Oh, the opening statement because it's a because she's a but a judge doesn't make an opening statement. The lawyers make an opening statement. The judge just gives directions to the jury. Never mind. In case you didn't know it, Joe Biden. I did not know. Is the president of the United States in name only? Someone else is running the White House. Well, uh, very exciting. Who do we think that is? Ron Klain? Probably. Jill Biden. Democrats love listening to women. <laughs> Barack Obama, maybe? Come along with me and see if what I say makes sense. Great, the land of make-believe. It's just like Mr. Rogers, only drowning in wine and sadness. From the beginning of his campaign, we knew he wasn't right. We kept asking ourselves, what was wrong with him? He was- <laughs> Yeah, at the beginning of the campaign, there, you know, I was watching the campaign and I kept thinking, what's wrong with him? I mean- Legal, yeah, look. I mean, not uh, action replays in magnified fortune. Buramisia, free health care for illegal. Ill 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 OK, Winston Churchill stood on the rooftops in London, very calm, making speeches. Winston Churchill. Yeah, I, I was very confused during the campaign about what he was doing. I, are we talking about the same he? Really confused, saying crazy things. No man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger other than in self-defense, and that rarely ever occurs. And so we have to just change the culture, period, and keep punching at it and punching at it. got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that. That's from 2017. That, that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. Mm -hmm. Corn Pop was a bad dude. He, Corn Pop was indeed a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night. We couldn't ask questions because they kept pulling him back behind the COVID curtain as if they were hiding something. That's, and that's, that's what you're going with? Because he said, it, it, you, do need, you do know LPs are making a comeback and it's quite hip right now. I have a turntable. Many people do. Um, but uh, the Burmese executives, so this uh, Burmese, Burmese, they say, pronounce it Burmese. But to me, Corona means Italy. The company that his son worked for, that's Burmese. Uh, let's see. Um, when they gaze upon your Semites, your Semites, I don't read, obviously. For Iowa values. That's, uh, that is Trump trying to say Iowa values. He's introducing, I think, Joni Ernst. N listen to that again. Iowa values. For Iowa values. Uh-huh. And, um, uh, let's see. How about, uh, let's see. You're gonna frack. Um. They don't like a gas. Uh, let's see. I felt really good almost after taking it. Um, yeah, co completely sound. Absolutely. No stutter. You know, no uncomfortable stories. Just fucking gibberish. At the same time that President Trump was campaigning around the clock, Joe Biden was hunkered down under the COVID storm. At least. A the, sorry, the COVID what? Joe Biden was hunkered down under the COVID storm. At under the COVID storm. The, what was that again? On the clock. Joe Biden was hunkered down under the COVID storm. At S COVID storm, which is, I think, a Jewish hut uh, used to fight off disease in the Old Testament. Uh, you know, the seven plagues. 
The fourth one, you would uh, hunker down under the COVID storm. On the clock, Joe Biden was hunkered down under the COVID storm. At storm is what she's supposed to say, but she just left the T out because who needs it? It's That's how she pronounces it. It's just an a uh, it sorm it's just s apostrophe o r m until the inquiries passed but even then he was often unaware of where he was or where he was going how are your meetings going in cornwall mr president how are your meetings going here in cornwall very well come on <laughs> cuz he'll what and by the way what is that that's the whole like he'll keep chatting with them and they need to move on because he starts talking and wants to talk to the press and wants to engage with people and they don't have time. It's different when you're a senator. You can keep chatting. Nobody gives a shit. If you're Ted Cruz, no one's waiting on you. Nobody. You could just be Ted Cruz and go down to the border and yammer and get drone footage and nobody gives a rat fuck. <laughs> and then that's sweet. What are you talking about? I mean, granted, he, it's his second wife, you know, and uh, those of you that are in the second wives club, you understand. Um, of course, he didn't cheat with Jill. Life took his first wife, and then he pursued Jill and asked her to marry him like six times. The help of big tech and Mark Zuckerberg. Sorry, the Mark Zuckerberg, yeah, this is the same thing that Diamond and Silk were talking about when they said when... Uh, Still called him Zucker, and and Diamond had to throw in the Berg so you knew who they were talking about. Spent four hundred nineteen dollars on nonprofits ahead of the twenty twenty election and got out the Dem vote. So you give it to nonprofits and the Dem vote comes out. Hmm. Facebook and Twitter limit sharing New York Post story about Joe Biden. And four hundred nineteen. And by the way, it wasn't about Joe Biden. It was about Hunter Biden, and it was a lie. And in kind contributions, no negative stories about Joe Biden and that Hunter Biden laptop. Were what what Hunter Biden what Hunter Biden laptop? You got plenty of screen space. Show a picture of it. Show a picture of Rudy Giuliani sitting in front of Hunter Biden's laptop with hard drives hooked up to it. Then he made copies of the hard drive that's allegedly on the Hunter Biden laptop, and therefore he was copying what he believed to be child porn and disseminating. Uh, copying and disseminating child porn, in some cases for financial gain, which would mean that Rudy Giuliani sells child porn, just for the record. He's admitted to it on his own show many times. But, you know, you wouldn't want to bring someone like that to justice, would you? Allowed to see the light of day. And Joe Biden... Yes, why has the laptop nit not been allowed to see the light of day? Why would you not be carrying that son of a bitch around everywhere you went? I still don't understand. Why? Where is it? Became the president of the United States. Yeah, funny how that works. So, like Trump had these big rallies and nobody noticed it was the same assholes over and over. To continue the charade, the White House built a fake Oval Office for Joe Biden in the Eisenhower Executive Office building. They say it's- That's not an Oval Office. That isn't an Oval Office. First of all, the walls are flat, dum dum. Notice the thing about the uh, Oval Office is that it has a resolute desk and it's got round, the whole fucking room is round. <laughs> Hi, stupid. Is this the day we find out that Judge Janine failed geometry? Do you know the difference between a rectangle and an oval? Yes. Here's, a, here's, here's how you find out. Try to insert... Uh, two objects of a, of remotely the same size in your rectum. One of them's an oval, and the other one is a rectangle. Let me know how that works out, and if you f if you feel a difference, if there's any possibility that you know if you detect. Mm, right. River. <laughs> yeah, the the fake. Uh, honestly, I've heard this storyline about the fake Oval Office, but I've never seen. A worse picture to show of of the building of the of the room they made these the basically the Zoom studio that they had to wire up for doing all these meetings and shit because people couldn't go anywhere and it's a it's a rectangle it's a fucking rectangle 
and it's got screens behind it. No one, I don't understand the concept that somehow anybody's supposed to believe this is anything more than a Zoom studio for the President of the United States. It's an area for journalists. Why? Biden doesn't take questions from them. The real reason, according to... Well, because you're getting out messaging. He's, he gives speeches in them about the, the bill he wants to pass, and he doesn't have to take questions to answer those things. He's presenting this. They have uh, papers that go with them, and other people want to just ask about bullshit. So he walks out. White House official. I mean, it'd be nice if he stuck around and called them the enemy of the people and got their lives threatened. But, you know, he doesn't want to steal anything from Trump. He can read a script from a face on monitor without the teleprompter glass that can be seen on camera, i.e. without your knowing. As long as he can read, he doesn't have to think, which in itself proves his ineptitude over and over again. Sorry. Uh, can I? <clears throat> Action replays in magnified portion. That was in the teleprompter. In some form. Action replays in magnified portion. And uh, as was. They're de-engineering. People want other people to stop shooting and knifing people to death. I Yeah, I think in general. And as onlookers, we struggle. Sorry, as what? And lookers? Is he a liar? Hold on. Wait one second. Back up. And, and as Ann lookers, we... And as Ann lookers. Ann lookers are anybody who, uh, when they see Ann Hathaway, just can't tear their eyes away. I mean, it's completely understandable. She's just big doe eyes. and She just seems beautiful and smart. It's a combination. It's intoxicating. Um, Ann lookers... Proves his ineptitude over and over again. And as onlookers, we struggle. Own, own, onlookers. Is he a liar? Or is he simply incompetent, unaware? I don't know. Ask Anne. He says one thing and then does another. No, I don't think it should be mandatory. I wouldn't demand to be mandatory, but I would do everything in my power. It's like I don't think masks have to be made mandatory nationwide. If there's Americans. Yeah, they don't. At that point, they didn't have to. And then the Delta variant hit and it was spreading like wildfire. Ta-da. This is left. We're going to stay till we get them all out. And then he reverses himself by simply lying and saying he never said that or was never told things like essential troop information by his military, each of which contradicted him. Mm, bullshit. Now, we've covered this before. But listen to Stephanopoulos' question clearly. Military advisors did not tell you, no, we should just keep 2,500 troops. It's been a stable situation for the last several years. We can do that. We can continue to do that. No. At, told you we should keep 25 troops, 2,500 troops in there. It's been a stable situation, and we can continue to do that. We've done it for years, and we can continue to do that. No, okay, that was the question. And then he says, No one said that to me that I can recall. But the most troubling of- Yeah, nobody did. And even Millie was like, we can leave 2,500 in there, but after the the uh, the ceasefire is done, we're going to need 4,000 to 10,000 more troops. And then three months, and then five months, and then 10 months, and then fuck you. All are the repeated statements that he's going to get into trouble if he keeps answering questions. Yeah, because he's trying to be deferential to his staff who are trying to get on his way, and he talks about it like you talk about your grandkids. I'm sorry I'm going to get in trouble with staff. I don't do this the right way. There's a lot of people here. I apologize. I'm going to get in trouble. No president in United States history has ever spoken like this. What are we... Yeah, and deference to his staff. And he's also a, he's been a senator and a congressperson, and people are like, we have a schedule, and you're going to help me, you know, get on this, and that's how you do it. That's what that's from. They're going to kill me if I stick around. That I, I mean, I say that about the my radio station. Like, uh, they're going to kill me if I miss this next break. Like, I don't mean it. And if I want to miss the break, it's up to me. But I, I defer to what they're trying to help me do. Supposed to conclude when the most powerful... I want a hug by Hal Pillow, please, with one emote. Okay. 
Britain and the free world says that someone will reprimand him if he doesn't do what they tell him to do. Is someone else in charge? Uh, no. No, it isn't. By the way, have you noticed Joe Biden is carrying out the same policies that Barack Obama had? Open borders, trashing the police. Um, neither of which he has done. He's, he has not trashed the police. He has not, we do not have open borders. And he's with an international community when such is not the case. So the Quad and the AUKUS is not international. So our new reliant, you know, a new alliance in NATO isn't part of a, a group. You mean, cause we pissed off France cause we ended up selling subs, you know, sub technology to Australia. Is that it? That's what you go. Yeah. But the proof is in the pudding. Look at this graph of individuals who worked in the Obama administration who are now working for Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. And by the way. Yes, they were a functional team. He, he trusts those people. He works with them again. Trump hired a bunch of people he'd never met on the recommendation of other people and ended up hating them. How is it that Kamala Harris, who was Joe Biden's choice for vice president, was even given that opportunity, given the fact that she called him out on his racist beliefs? And it, that was an edit. What was that? Ra is racist what? Opportunity, given the fact that she called him out on his racist beliefs. Look at that cut. That opportunity, given the fact that she called him out on his racist beliefs. What a weird cut that was. No wonder they had to go to footage. And why would someone as clueless as cackle? Well, I, also the idea that someone can uh, criticize you, you can take that criticize, criticism and work with it and not take it to heart, though, and then um, end up working with them is actually a good sign in a democracy, dipshit. Kamala, who had to drop out of a presidential primary because she couldn't get 1%. How is it that she's now the vice president of the United States? I don't know. We have to ask Dick Cheney or Dan Quayle or uh, Mike Pence. Or, uh... Think back to Barack Obama's affection for Kamala Harris. Right, okay. You have to be careful to, first of all, say she is brilliant and she is dedicated and she is tough and she is exactly what you'd want in anybody who is administering the law and making sure that everyone is getting a fair shake. According to Obama, she also happens to be by far the best looking attorney general in the country. But in fairness, uh, Bill Barr was sitting two seats away and that just that's just going to stand out. <laughs> and do you remember during the debate phase of the presidential? Yeah, I remember uh, when Biden kicked Trump's ass every single time campaign. It was reported that Joe Biden's handlers agreed to a pre-debate inspection for electronic earpieces. But shortly before the debate, they reversed themselves and declined. And after the election, Trump campaign says nobody agreed on any of that shit. And Trump isn't going to send people over to look in Joe Biden's ears. And discussing with Stephen Cole. And by the way, this is the kind of defense you have after a debate. He must have had an earpiece in because he kicked my ass. On what a third term could have looked like, Barack Obama said the following. I used to say, you know what, if, if I could make an arrangement where... Um, I had a, I had a, a stand in, a front man or front woman, and, and they had an earpiece in, and I was just in my basement in my sweats mm -hmm. looking through the stuff. And then I could sort of deliver the lines, but somebody else was uh, doing all the talking and ceremony. Wow. I, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, because it sucks doing the actual out front stuff. It's a waste of time. So I ask you, who do you think is Joe, Joe Biden? Yeah, because the policies are stuff that he's been talking about for a long time. Like it's totally in line with everything that he's done. In the White House. And that's why I open. Let me. That's it? That's that's the whole fucking thing? Do you think on my oh, face? Jesus Christ. Let her know what you think about the fact that she's using a picture from 10 years ago where apparently her neck was broken. Good for her for t f uh, getting it restapled on or something. Jesus. Jeannie is a commentator, opinion, right. 
Uh, well, that's because that's how you avoid doing facts. 